Today. Oh, is it? <laughs> 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 yeah, go. Do a video mashup of Yeah, so you can all have an outside. Yay! Great stuff. Ah, this is a passport. Passport. I think it's not my thing now. Yeah, it's it's yours, hey? Ready? We are a group of concern of citizens from South Australia who are concerned about climate change and even more concerned about the Rudd Labor government's inadequate response to the danger it presents to us and our children. Why are we worried? Scientists around the world are warning about the dangers of runaway climate change. Our own chief scientist, Professor Penny Sackett, has just written a book called Our Future Climate, Living with Fires Now and Into the Future. It's not a, a future we're looking forward to. Scientists warn that if we don't massively, globally pull back on carbon emissions in the next five years leading up to 2015, there are tipping points in the Earth's climate that could see the planet warming by up to 60 degrees in a period up to 2025. This would be disastrous for all of us. We know that we have to reduce our emissions by 80% by 2055, but that crucially, we need to make most of the changes by 2015 in order to avoid creating those tipping points. The government's position of a 5% reduction in emissions at Copenhagen is not only not good enough, it's unsafe and irresponsible. Do you agree? Yeah. Wake up, Penny Wong. Wake up. As our representative at the climate change talks in Copenhagen, Penny Wong, we want you to sign up to an agreement that is fair for the poorest countries that did not cause climate change but are suffering most from it, that is ambitious enough to leave a planet that is safe for all of us, and binding with real targets that can be legally monitored and enforced. Yeah. Yeah. we want our federal government to deliver 40% carbon emission reductions at Copenhagen in December. Yeah. Uh, a carbon pollution reduction scheme which doesn't contain a floor below which emissions cannot fall and which sets a safe targets for our climate. And real investment in green jobs now and federal support for green business and industry. Yeah. are now the worst polluters in the world. We believe that we can turn this around with genuine commitment from our government. Let's not be last in the race to, uh, to build a decent renewable energy industry. We know we can be world leaders in creating a safe climate for future generations. So Penny, we wish you success at Copenhagen and we look forward to celebrating this result with you. The message is Wake up! 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 Wake up!
send him an email, shall we? Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. everyone can send him a letter. <laughs> but certainly, how remarkable to turn on the radio this morning and hear the news that uh, we're telling developing countries what they should do about climate change, just like we give them money to not chop down their forests when we chop down ours. So we know we're a rich country, we're a wealthy country, we can afford to do much, much more on climate change than the pathetic 5% target that's been put forward. So if we're going to have any credibility in the uh, global community, we need to be going to Copenhagen saying, as a wealthy country, as the worst polluter per head of population, we are going to lead uh, by example. And that example has to be serious cuts to our own emissions, otherwise we have no credibility talking to anyone, about, anyone else about what they should be doing. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I look absolutely. forward to seeing on the internet the results of all these wake-up calls <laughs> all over Australia. And uh, congratulations on coming out. And uh, let's see more of it. Yeah. Yeah.